7th of February 1942. The patrol log of U-96. With the start of February, U-96 has been ordered away from the Arctic convoys for the first time in months to patrol sector AM2 to AM5, north of Ireland. We are to hit merchant convoys coming in through the western approaches, through the Irish Sea and down into the ports of Liverpool. Our minimum expectation is to sink 10,000 tonnes of merchant shipping. Intelligence suggests a Nelson-class battleship has been spotted in the area. Sinking it would be a great morale boost for German forces. However, the priority remains to target the merchant shipping. Continue our blockade of the United Kingdom. Hi everyone, welcome back to U96's weekly patrol. Here we are, Hans Jürgen is currently just decoding a radio transmission we've received from the BDU. We're uh, en route to our patrol location, freshly out of Bergen port. And coming up to the uh, waters around Scotland. So let's see what the BDU have to say. U-995 has gone missing. One of our submarines is missing. Its last known coordinates are 5837 North, 898 West. Please investigate before the 12th of February 1942, 06-42. Contact was added to our map. Right, it's the 8th of February now. It's uh, 20 to 7 in the evening. Okay, let's find out where this contact is. Okay, here we go. You can see we're coming up um, north of Scotland now. There is the contact. Uh, we'll, we'll speed up a little bit to try and... What? No, just go in a straight line, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Why are we doing that? Weird plotting. Anyway, we'll go in a straight line. We'll speed up as well. We've got three days to try and get there. And hopefully uh, we should be okay. And we'll see what's happened to you... 995, 998, I can't remember already. That's how bad my memory is. But we're going to head towards that um, U-boat last known location as our priority. And I'll bring you back when something interesting happens. Welcome back everyone. All right, we've made it to the location or the last known location of the U-boat. I'm guessing with the green dot, that's where they're suggesting we go. Nothing obvious yet. Maybe that we need to send the diver down if... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, wait. Yes, I can see the conning tower just breaching over these waves. She's dead ahead of us. She was. She may have sunk. Uh, so we're going to continue forward and it should come into view in the near future. Okay, there she is. We've pulled up alongside. She does look a little bit low in the water. But if we have a look on board... Yeah, U-995. She looks okay. No obvious signs of battle damage. So, let's um, inspect her. U-995 is floating on the surface without a living soul on its deck. Inspection from our boat makes it clear that the boat sustained major damage. Oh, okay. Uh, it remains a mystery, though, what happened to the crew and why the enemy left it in such a state while at sea. We'll send a team over to investigate. Let's send over um, Alfred, our engineer. Or oh, actually, hang on. Engineer, connections, engine specialist. Yeah, we'll, actually, we'll send Herman over. Let's send a leader. Klaus, you can go over. 
and I suppose we'll send a radio operator just with a first aider as well, just in case. Do you want to take some? Oh, take some coffee over. You never know, and send some troops over as well. Actually, take a rifle. You never know. Team is heading now over to U995. Will we see the little rubber dinghy pull up? Who knows? Right, they're on board. Right, the lost ship. Your team cautiously board U995, reporting that they cannot hear any sound from inside the ship. What do you want to do? Let, well, let's investigate a little bit further. Okay, the search is coming towards its end now. Herman Orlop went to the conning tower and carefully opened the closed hatch, then quickly ran to the barriers on the conning tower, clearly choking. He reported that inside are the corpses of sailors, with dried blood flowing out of their eyes and lips. Herman had no doubt the ship was damaged by a mine, which led to the flooding of the batteries on the boat, which in turn released chlorine gas and resulted in the death of the entire crew. Well, I didn't see that coming. Uh, yes, we'll accept it. Okay, so usually we have to sink this ship, so let's give it a whirl to scuttle the boat. Usually with the engineer we sent across, you normally get the option to uh, finish him off. But what we're going to do is uh, get the deck gun and try and sink her that way, just so she can't fall into enemy hands and they can't capture the Enigma machine, the coding books or anything like that. We can't crew her, so we're going to have to finish her off. How many hits will she need? I think she's going on. No, the waves are quite deceptive. Get some uh, waterline shots and hopefully she'll go under. Waiting for the waves to go right. We might not get that chance. Yeah, it's, it's weird, isn't it, when you're sinking up a friendly unit when you know you've got us well, scuttling it. We're scuttling her. There we go, mission complete. She's scuttled. Good, right. Secure the deck gun. Secure the deck gun. Okay, with confirmation that target is sinking, uh, we're going to leave this area and head back. Uh, well, we're actually in our patrol zone, so we're going to um, continue our patrol zone, make sure we've... Uh, done our allotted distance and uh, see what juicy targets we can find along the way. Hi everyone, welcome back. We've just submerged. Uh, funnel smoke was spotted. We're in our patrol zone, so we can uh, certainly have a look. Now it's all the way over here to our 90 degrees. Auf the Rotiefe. Apparently. There's a chance a little bit more height. Maybe they're a bit further away than we originally suspected. Hmm, can't see anyone. Well, I watch crew report these things and I come have a look and I can't see anything. I know I'm getting old, but honestly. Have a quick scan now to see if there is anything obvious. If not, we'll uh, refer to the hydrophone and uh, they'll be able to pick out the targets even if uh, we can't do it via the 
Opposite. Oh, no, there they are. Okay, I'm <laughs> just looking in the wrong direction. Right, that looks quite big. Yeah, some juice. Oh, there's lots. Of oh, hang on. Look at that. That is quite a big convoy. Look at all the smoke billowing up. Right. Now, is this going to be a non-escorted one as well? That Hang on a touch. That's huge. That's huge. That looks like a capital ship. Is this the Nelson battleship that we were promised? Well, we were suggested might be in the area. It doesn't have two capital ships. But that looks like a capital ship as well, doesn't it? Let's refer to the hydrophone. There we... Oh, there are two large ships. That one's just disappeared. No. HMS Rodney and HMS Nelson would not be out at sea at the same time, escorting the same convoy. That just would never happen. This is quite a big ship, but that looks more merchant. Ooh. Okay, this has got very interesting. That, to me, looks everything like a large... I can see the turret there. Look, that is a large battleship. That also appears to be a large capital ship. And that's just a merchant there. Right, let's let a little bit of time pass and we'll let this come on so hopefully we can um, get a better view of these ships. Okay, that seems to be steaming at quite a bit of speed. Where's the other one? Oh, wrong way. There. That's got the three turrets. That is the Nelson. Or Rodney. That is the, uh, the battleship. Then what's that? That looks quite big as well. This is the freighters. Freighters, freighters. Waves are quite choppy. The wind's obviously quite high. That's the battleship. That's something big as well. Anyway. So, um, there we go. That, I think, is the battleship. That's a crew. What's this? There are three capital ships. Holy smoke. Right. Um, what we need to do is probably back up a little bit and um, get into a better angle for a, an attack. We'll do all the necessary in a bit, but let's just do a bit of maneuvering and get in the um, the better position. <laughs> this is this is where we sunk the, uh, the stricken U-boat U-995. So we haven't come far, as you can see. So let's just maneuver. We'll reverse back a touch, and we'll point um, the nose north, so we can get a better angle on any attacks. That looks quite a big ship there as well. Yeah, the pointy ships, obviously the warships. So um, yeah, we'll we'll have to go at the warships first, and then we can always sneak away. These look like potential corvettes or destroyers. Which would make sense, a ring of destroyers and corvettes around the capital ships. With a couple of supporting vessels, maybe. See, that's a, these are big. These could be, you know, ammunition ships, maybe fuel ships to keep the uh, task group going. But anyway, let's do some manoeuvring and um, then have a look, see what's going on. Right, up with the attack periscope. I've ordered the observation periscope down because I don't want them giving our position away too much. Right, um... That might be a heavy cruiser. 
That, however, behind the bloody ships in front of it is... Have I selected one? That is the battleship. Let's... No, it's that one. Look, they're all, they're all getting conf in each other's way now. So what's that third large ship, then? It's an oil tanker here, by looks of things. There. There's the third one. Could be another cruiser. Two cruisers and a battleship. Now, I'm trying to count. Looking at how tall those stacks are, that could be a heavy county class cruiser. Can we can we lock onto the battleship? Oh. That's the one I want to lock onto. But we've got this ship in front and that one there. Yeah. Which one's that? Oh. British. No, we've we clipped this one. <laughs> we've got this one in front. We want that one there. Yes, okay, good. Got it. Right, so this is the battleship. Oh. Uh, cruiser, destroyer. Oh, Australia, hang on. Let's um, get the right. United Kingdom. Here we go, battleship. Nelson class battleship. That's what that is. Um, I think that's a heavy county class oh, look at the size of that thing it's like a star destroyer um anyway what's the the depth of that draft is 10.55 is it a bit choppy to try a magnetic we'll see right anywho let's get this set up i i know i know what i said i know primary target should be the merchant ships but it's a battleship for heaven's sake and two cruisers I think speed is going to be oh yeah there we go look you can see the distinctive three guns of the uh, the battleship We'll let it run for a minute and then we'll do the calculation. There we go. Lovely. And we measure that from point 0.2 to point. That's not gone well. Let's try that again. Is 194 meters. 194 meters, uh, so 185 meters would be six knots. 216, so it's six point something knots. Six six and a half knots, perhaps. So if we go 6.5, pop that in there, that will go. Oh, hang on, that hasn't gone. Six point and a bit. 6.5 knots, nice. Angle of bow is 14, and it's currently 4,300 meters. Angle about is 14. Obviously this will change drastically when she gets a little bit closer. Set. And 4,325 metres, I think it was. 4,000... Back there, and 14. Out there. Right, lock that on. Start tracking. Nice. Right. Oh, only a couple of the torpedoes have been warmed up. Brilliant. Okay, a little bit of time has passed, and they've identified it. It is the Rodney. Right. Let's um, let's do another speed calculation. Oh, typical, just as we lose sight of her. Right, 
HMS Rodney. I think the water's a little bit too choppy for magnetic, to be honest. Seven knots, okay. We've been pinged by sonar. Oh no. 1200 meters, seven knots. Angular bow is 50. One. Excellent. Right. Oh, the other torpedoes have not been warmed up. We're going to go for a full spread, though. Either way. Right. The Nelson class has a length of 216 meters. So I'll go 216. I'll reduce that a little bit. Right. All torpedo tubes are ready. Uh, they are pinging us, so I'm going to fire early. Fire. Tube one away. They're pinging us too. So I want to get these torpedoes away before they can... Um, they obviously know something's up. Alright, let's get that reloading. Let's keep the periscope on there a little longer just so we can see if we score any good hits. What's that ship doing? That could be a Corvette coming straight for us. Prepare to dive. Okay, we gotta go. We've gotta go. I have 100 meters. Let's go. You can hear the creaking hull of the battleship as she slips beneath the waves, breaking up as she goes deeper and deeper. We've had the cry for depth charges <laughs> and the hovering cigar or cigarette. Okay, there are depth charges in the water. Easy, man. That's not our hole creaking. That is the battleship going down in front of us. Right, I'm actually going to stay with the hydrophone for the moment. Ooh, that was close. Our meats are swinging. We're down at 150 odd beats. Ooh, crikey. We're getting rocked down here, boys. Get your back off that. Might get some spinal injuries. Oh, it's close. Okay, those are going away from us. But those first couple will rock the boat. We, you know, it probably actually wasn't, obviously wasn't close enough to make any damage, but we certainly felt it. Oh, Ooh, they're certainly going for it. Well, they're getting closer.
There's a lot of depth charges going down. Who's creaking those hatches? Silence. So there's two destroyers, corvettes, whatever they are, that have started their depth shaft runs again after about a break of half an hour. Now we've gone all quiet and we've gone uh, all stop as well, hoping that that would be enough. So I don't know what's started this uh, second lot of depth charging. Maybe they're thinking about heading back to the uh, the main task group and they're just going to lay a couple more lines of depth charges just in case. Fortunately they were um, way off, well not way off, but they were over in that distance not really troubling us too much. Um, but we'll uh, continue to sit tight. 